connection that comes to our, our car it has often been referred by the doctors, psychologists, social workers or family members and a lot of the patients that come to our car are self-referred. That's fine. All are welcome. But the most important thing about a patient who comes to our car for help is that they must want this help. We can do a lot for them but we can't do it without them. You cannot force somebody into recovery. So when the patient comes into our car, we first try to establish, okay, why do they want to get better? What are the challenges that they've faced and now that they've come to the point that they need help? And then we'll explain how this help will be given. And the first step that we do is the detoxification. So this is done by skilled doctors and nurses and within three to four days, normally we have accomplished this. Okay. The next phase now is that we try as much as possible to control the craving. The craving is the hallmark of this disease. You cannot try to give a patient psychosocial counseling if the patient is craving. So when we have controlled the craving to an adequate degree, that's where our psychologists and our social workers come in. And this is what we call the psychosocial phase. And this is where we try and convert the hijacked brain, as we call it, to a normal brain. We bring them back from a subculture of drug addiction to the normal culture that we don't. You've got to help him to reintegrate into society and get back into the family unit as much as possible. Psychosocial counseling by far is the mainstay of our, our treatment. Aftercare or maintenance of the sobriety is absolutely important. That patients have got to be followed up for a minimum of one year. Yes, at Alka we see them three times a week after work. We see families every week because the patient has now changed, but the family has not changed. So the families need to be given counseling and help and on how to tackle, how to handle this new person that's come out. The amount of period to help them to cope in the environment and there are several non-addictive anti-craving medicines that are available. Please mark my words, non-addictive anti-craving medicines. We do not want to, to replace one addiction with another. And this is just an adjunct to treatment to help them on and can be stopped at any time do you they want to. After CAKE, there's a lot of uh, organizations available, AA, NA, church organizations, support systems. We encourage our patients to attend as many of these as possible. Besides the psychosocial program, that's, that is the individual and group therapy, we have exercise programs, we have art therapy, we have yoga, we have several other activities. Right, This is to fill in the boredom time but we do not fill every bit of it. We have, we have table tennis, we have snookers, we have um, a swimming pool, we have a gym. All the activities we have are things that they can replicate in their own environment. We do not do things at our car that when they go out from here, they got nothing. But because very important aspect of our program is to teach these guys how to handle boredom. So a part of our program is also boredom where they have an hour or two on their own where they do absolutely nothing that's interspersed together with the table tennis and the exercise and all other things. So we have a nice healthy mix of activities in the 21 days that they stay with us.